All right, welcome back. We are doing more code forces. So, um, so you're given like three times ten to the fifth integers, and you want to count the number of pairs of indices such that some equation is true. Um, okay, so what? Um, okay. Uh. Huh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, important also. Um, the integers are all different. Wait. No, but they might all be- might, Okay, they might be the same mod P, never mind. I was about to say they're all different, because it said so in the code forces thing, but, um... Mod P, they may not be different, so, lol. Um... No, no, no. Wait, what? No, it says 0a P minus 1. Wait, that, that, that actually matters, right? If the AIs are different. And n distinct integers in 0 of p minus 1. Uh, okay, anyways, where was I? Um, what is a plus p, a squared plus p squared? Does that rewrite as anything good? Also, it does like... Okay, so there's one stupid case called k equals zero, which you can just do. Um, that's equivalent to... something. I don't know. Okay, k equals zero, you can just run it over. Um... And for any other k, I can scale all the inputs by... Ah, uh, actually that's not fair. Um, but it feels like if you get any value of k, the other shouldn't be that different. Um, hmm. I just don't know why it's like... Okay, what, what is this expression? Um, a plus b, a squared plus b squared is equal to a cubed plus b, a squared b plus a b squared plus b cubed. Um, okay. So this is like t cubed plus t squared plus t plus 1 um, times like... So well, we're gonna let t equals a b inverse. Then this is this is something um, like a cubed times this. Uh... And I want this to equal k. I like a to the four o. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Uh. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, well, if we do a to the 4 minus b to the 4, okay, that's why a and b should be distinct. Oh, okay. So it's like a to the 4 minus ka. Yeah, b to the 4 minus kb. Oh, I don't even need to treat k equals 0 separately. Um. Okay, so it's just it just isolates. It's like, okay, okay, very cool. Oh, uh, all right. Alright, I think I can just implement this, right? Thank you, 3VT, for the sub.
All right, let's let's implement this. I think I, can, I should be able to do this in Python as well. Uh, okay. Um. All right. So. Okay, import. Well, okay. MPK. Oh, A A S. Uh. Well, I'll just do this. Uh, okay, import collections. Uh, actually, I don't. Really, I don't think that's even necessary. Whatever. Okay, so for a in. Um, uh, okay, so I need a dictionary that's like residues mod p to count. Right? And because there's... Yeah, 3 times 10 to the 5 should be small enough to do in linear... Yeah, okay. So, the value is like pow a for p minus k times a percent p dx. So if x in d... else dx equals 1 and then um print some and or count times I, I don't know something like this maybe we'll see if that actually works <laughs> make dirt tests Six, seven, two, one, two, three, four. Failed. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, integer division. Oh, what? No. Wait, what? The? Ugh. Ugh. Why is it printing three point oh? Wait, d d no. What? Is this not integer division works? Hello? Wait, am I crazy? Is POW non integer? I don't think so. Actually, it shouldn't matter anyways, because there are keys in a dictionary. Um, like, I don't read the values of the keys, I just. What? You know what? Screw you. I don't. I don't. I don't care. Uh, okay. Wait. What? Am I a crazy person? Uh, two, two, two. Yeah, the, what? Wait. How? How does this not work? No, but it doesn't matter if x is negative. Also, I mean, I'll, I'll guard against that anyways, but like, uh, wait, do, do I just not know how Python works? Uh, hello? Uh, 
on, fuck. Oh! How? Okay, I have no idea how that happened, but, um... <sighs> how did I put three- I- no, I typed- you guys watched me, right? I typed two dot answer and put three in there. How? Uh, it, what? No, I, I. Am I insane? You guys watched me type it in, right? I typed. Did I type three point zero into the? Okay, alright. I'll look at the video later to see how I managed to fuck that up. I, I, I don't know how that's possible, but it somehow happened. Uh, okay. Okay, it passed. Good job. Um... Uh... How did I fuck up the answer? Wait, I... I I need to watch the video later and figure out how I managed to do that. I I don't I don't I still don't understand what I managed how I managed to manually type in the wrong answer. Um. I no, like Anyways, okay, whatever. We're, we're done. Um I might have accidentally typed three. But I wish I put it to zero. Like it's a plain text file. I I, I don't know. Uh Oh, okay, wait, okay, never mind. Um, okay, so here, here, here's what happened, all right? Um, somehow I put two dot answer in the wrong place. I don't know how I did that. And I put one dot answer in the correct place. So it failed here, and then here it wrote the wrong answer 3.0 to the, it said there was no answer given. So I don't know how I managed to screw that up. Um, oh, I think I just never typed two dot answer. Uh, all right, that, that, that explains a lot actually. Uh, okay, now now we know. All right. Um, did I, I just forgot to type two dot answer? Okay, whatever. Maybe this should not be default behavior. I think if it fails a test case, it should not write the edges to the other test cases. Um. In fact, I'm gonna change that now, so I know that never happens again.
Okay, let's see. Uh, yada yada, yada yada. Uh, I need an emoji. Uh, let's let's use the shrug emoji. Uh, do, do I not have? Oh fuck! I don't have the emoji thing on this account. Um, Okay, let, let's see if that fixes the issue. Uh, okay, so we're gonna rewind to... Um, we're gonna delete to dot answer, and we're going to deliberately fail um, and see, make sure that it does what I think it does. Okay, and then... Okay, cool. Um, If it compiles, just send. <laughs> I mean, that is one approach you can take. Uh, ever again. Uh. All right. God. Yeah, it doesn't- it just doesn't occur to me to, like, debug the debugger. Like, usually I'm just like, what did I mess up? And it doesn't occur to me that maybe the problem was in the debugger. <laughs> uh, yeah, also, yeah, interactive problems are so annoying to check. Oh my god. Um... All right, cool. Anyways, uh, all right. I hope that was entertaining. We're, we're moving on. Uh, if this goes up on YouTube, which it probably will. Um. <laughs> yeah, now you know. Don't test your code. All right, bye. Um. <laughs>